Hey, what's up guys? My name is Ilyas and this is your 38th tutorial. Oh my god, we did a lot already. So, and I hope you guys are not overwhelmed with the stuff which we had in the previous tutorial because I made a lot. But, uh, so this tutorial is going to, is going to be nice and easy. So, uh, I hope you guys already uh, play around with the sortable and you know how it works and stuff. And um, so, right now we want to uh, download this jQuery UI the same as we download jQuery and embed it to our page. So I just go to download and we don't need all that um, jQuery UI features because we only need uh, the features which uh, are related to the sortable and we can actually get rid of all these widgets but um, we would like to leave the UI core just in case. So um, I'll just go ahead and get rid of this widgets and effects. So now we have only uh, interactions and UI core, and we can download our custom version of uh, jQuery UI. So I just go ahead and download this. And after you download it, I want you guys to uh, copy that file into your JS directory. But um, after you downloaded this archive, you would um, extract it, of course, and then you don't need the whole contents of this uh, jQuery UI folder because, for instance, when you open this HTML document, it just shows you uh, all the features you can you have, all the components and stuff. But we don't don't actually need that all. So we only need to go to this JS folder and copy uh, jQuery UI custom min dot js, this um, minimized version of jQuery UI. So make sure you copy this file into your working folder within and paste it within the JS directory in your project folder, like this. So I have it right here. I have the jQuery UI custom. And your next step would be to uh, highlight its name and, uh, pay and copy that to the clipboard. And then you would go to uh, your HTML. Well, it was HTML, but now it's PHP. Anyway, to your HTML document and uh, just embed it like we did it before with jQuery. So we just write the path and copy, I mean, and paste the, the file name. So now we pretty much embedded the jQuery UI to our document or our project and we can work with it. And we don't need the jQuery UI uh, page anymore in our browser and we can reload the page. And make sure you guys reload the page every time you make any changes to your, uh, to your project. All right, now we should be able to uh, sort the elements like this. Hold on, let me reload the page. Well, I forgot something very important, of course. Uh, <laughs> I want you guys to go to the script and activate the sortable thing. So uh, how you do that? Well, it's very easy. You just uh, select this portfolio, which we have here, this portfolio unordered list, this one. And then you want to... Uh, run a function, apply a function on it called sortable. And that's it. And then when you run your code and reload the page, reload the page and run the code, you will be able to do this awesome thing. Look guys, I just grab this, this image and I like pull it right here and drop it. So this is how you will be able to uh, to be uh, the boss of your portfolio so that you can change the order of uh, appearance of these pictures in your portfolio. Okay, great. So uh, now we just did it for, uh, for only one session, which means when I reload the page, we'll uh, go back to the previous state like it was. So the, the, the picture number one, got the picture number one again and stuff. And in the next tutorial, we will um, write some Ajax code which will generate um, an asynchronic request written in jQuery and send it to the server and ask the server to save the order of appearance of these images. And this is something what we are going to do in the next tutorial and I suppose we... Well, I, I guess we will uh, only need one tutorial to do that. Or maybe two tutorials. Anyway, the next two tutorials will be definitely fun. And I hope you guys will follow along and, and stay with us. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.